गुड मॉर्निंग हन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अलबर्ट सोरेंग आर्ट्स आप सबों का स्वागत है नया एक वीडियो में तो आज आप लोगों को हम दिखाने के लिए कोशिश करेंगे आसमसन इंग्लिश स्कूल चुके वाला कार्बे गाँव में गोल्डन जुबली सेलिब्रेशन किया जा रहा है तो जुड़े रहे हमारे साथ में और अंत तक बने रहिए और यहाँ पर क्या क्या प्रोग्राम होता है और आप लोग को दिखाने के लिए मैं कोशिश करता हूँ यदि आप नया है मेरे चैनल में तो प्लीज़ मेरे चैनल को लाइक कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और अंत तक जुड़े रहिए देखो स्टूडेंट लोगों के द्वारा कैसे गर्जन लोग को स्वागत किया जा रहा है आप देख पा रहे हैं Your enthusiasm and talent have added another layer of joy to our golden jubilee celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty and beloved alumni, as we gather here today to celebrate the golden jubilee of Assumption High School, it is with great honor and pride that we recognize the distinguished alumni who have graced these halls and gone on to make significant contributions for to their respective fields. I kindly request all alumni present to please stand and be acknowledged for your remarkable achievements and honoring commitment to excellence. It is your dedication and hard work that have not only brought glory to our alma mater but have also inspired generations to come. Therefore, at this moment, I invite Ms. Benning Sebringma and her team representing our school administration to join us in honoring this outstanding alumni. We have a special treat as we welcome the Jumur dance troupe to showcase the traditional dance of the Adivasi community. Shorosha ti, my go bolie. Akhora bandona kori shorosha ti, my go bolie. 
traditional dance is known for its lively steps and rhythmic beats, symbolizing the joy and celebration of the Bihu festival. Let's give a warm round of applause as we welcome our dancers to showcase this captivating cultural treasure. <laughs> Most respected, the chief guest, uh, Father uh, Bishop uh, Paul Matikat, uh, the principal of this school, uh, Sister Soli, uh, the guest of honor, uh, Miss Julie Terangpi, and uh, the special invitees, all the fathers, sisters, and all of you, my alumni, and my present students and friends. I'm so, so excited today here to be here. You know, I feel so great and I feel, uh, I really feel a gratitude for selecting the first batch and especially selecting me. I was just joking my friends telling that I still feel like I'm the uh, class leader, you know, now also. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to uh, share with you guys, uh, I was a boarding boy and also the school. I came in 1985, I started from class 3. Of course, I wanted to join in class 5, but they didn't allow me because I failed. <laughs> so I was taking interview and I failed because I came from HDP, you know, HDP primary school. And I failed, so I was so happy that I failed, you know. <laughs> I started from class 3 and uh, that time uh, we went up to 8 years, we were here. And uh, the life here taught me is something that I cherish and I value a lot. You know, uh, honestly speaking, today my it is uh, 19 years of working experience. And in my 19 years of working experience, I have worked in more than 11 international companies, uh, all related to banks. Uh, you know, uh, like a German Development Bank, I work for Asian Development Bank, currently I'm working for World, De uh, World Bank. So I have, uh, you know, gone so far, I feel, and a boy coming from HDP, uh, coming from Chokihola, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, rising up, uh, quite a big, I feel, uh, you know, uh, it's a real blessing. And why that happened? I just wanted to share with you why it happened and how it is applicable to you all. I came here 38 years back. I finished my matriculation 30 years back. 
Now, even what I have learned or what we have learned, uh, you know, that really uh, will help you, uh, I believe. So in my batch, first of all, I'm speaking on their behalf. So we were nine of us who appeared the first uh, matriculation. I like to uh, spell out their names. Bibishan Taubi, Rosemary Beti, Provenson Rongpi, Willington Fangcho, Relichon, all these people are here now. Uh, then uh, Jailal Tirki, Manojit Ghosh, myself and the late Moses Fangcho. So these people, actually what happened? In the beginning, uh, there was no, I mean, when we were here, all the students who passed class seven, they had to go out to Dipu or to some other colleges. So uh, when Father John Mary was here, our late Father John Mary, uh, we told him, Father, we need a high school here. Why should we go outside, you know? Let us make high school here. Then he said, no, you have to go and plow the party field there. Uh, we have to plow the party field, you have to cut, you have to become self-sustained. Again, you have to plant rubber trees which will make us self-sustained. Again, you'll have to promise us that uh, all of nine of you will pass the exams. Because there are many schools which are appearing exams, but out of 30, 40, hardly 4, 5 were passing. So we promised Father John Marie that, yes, Father, we are going to do it, you know. So that is how uh, we got this uh, high school. Now, again, uh, when we reach class 8, 9, 10, we had a big tough time we had because uh, here getting teachers for the management was a big problem. You know, nobody wanted to come such an interior place and uh, with a minimum salary. My uh, school fees was 10 rupees per month and hostel fee was 300 rupees per year. You know, uh, that type of support that we uh, got. Now, uh, so we decided that we have to really go and plow party field and we have to do rubber plantation, we have to do all the work. That's how we uh, came to uh, glue. And you know, when we wrote the matriculation exam, as I said, we have no tuition teacher. So what we did was, in the uh, textbook, you have all the examples given, no, especially mathematics and all, uh, you know, given. So I hearted the entire book, you know, out of the book. I ate literally out of the book. I used to study not less than six hours per day. You know, that is the amount of energy that we put in our studies. Uh, so that really paid us. So when I was writing exam in the Barapathar, uh, first batch, uh, you know, uh, what we had to do is, I prayed a lot also, but I couldn't, uh, I did not know some uh, answers in mathematics. So what I did is I wrote the answers which I knew. The answers, the question was something, but answer was different totally. You know, I wrote what I knew only, what I did not know, I didn't write. Then when it came to social studies and other things, I did not know many subjects, many questions. So I started writing Hail Mary full of grace, our father in heaven. <laughs> you know, I started writing all those. And I wrote because somebody told me in the sermon that if you write all these things, God will bless you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I wrote, then the longest answer was, I believe in God the Father Almighty, you know. <laughs> so I did all these funny things, and uh, I was the only one, you know, to get what? First or second? <laughs> Honestly, I was the only one to get. The rest, all others, I'm not uh, undermining any one of them, but I did the best, you know, in my exams. After that, I went to uh, Rua home in Jorhat, a seminary, I wanted to become Padar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then uh, from there, after remaining for two weeks, uh, for the sister, I hope you don't mind, I am sharing some funny things. <laughs> so I went there and uh, after one week, you know, I ran away from there. There is a big wall there. I jumped away because I said, what kind of life is this? Only uh, only young people, only father, brothers, no old, no ladies, no girls, no boys. <laughs> <laughs> the life was horrible, I felt. So I ran away from there and I came back to the hostel. You know, I came back here, then they came and searched me and they took me again. <laughs> so life started like that. But you know, the beautiful part that this school have taught me, I just like to run through a few things, is number one, Sister Bineva Sangma is here. And I feel so proud of her because that is the time when we were in class 7, 8, 9. She brought some books. You know, other than your uh, everyday chapter, you know, some stories book, some magic book, this book, that book. And she used to tell us, you read this book. If you don't read, you will get beaten up. I got the maximum beating. <laughs> and I am today so grateful. So one of the things which can really change your life is reading books. 
read books other than your subject. Those children who are here, I like to really encourage you that if you read books, you you will ask me how many books have you read? I will tell more than ten thousand books. I, I, I'm honestly telling you, I have read so many books. The former headmistresses present here, the fathers, sisters, dear parents. It's my joy to be with you on this glorious occasion of the 50th year of this institution, the Golden Jubilee celebration. My message is, can be contained in only three words. First, it's an occasion of gratitude and remembrance. Gratitude to God and gratitude to all those who have been instrumental in erecting this school in this place. I myself have been here in the year 1985 working in this school, teaching in the school. I don't know whether there are any students, I think one or two I saw here. And then our children, the stars of the day, we need to encourage them. So, in the name of all your parents here, in the name of all your teachers, in the name of all those who are present here, we like to congratulate you, dear students. Your vibrant performance, well disciplined, as well as with a lot of practice and training, what you have been doing on the stage is marvelous and we are happy about it and we like to congratulate you. Best wishes, my dear children. Let us applaud them. Let us congratulate them. This is my message for you, dear parents. Continue to cooperate with our teachers, staff, and the institution and management. Thank you. God bless you, all of you. Yes, Reverend Paul Matikat, Bishop of Deku Diocese, for your active participation in our event. You truly made this day enlightening for us. Your deep an intellectual way of imparting knowledge has aided to the glory of this event. I also like to thank to our guest of honor, Mrs. Julie Terampi, video of Nilip Development Block, and Mr. Bibisar Rompi, principal of Long Mejong College, for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend this event. We had the chance to hear your thoughts, and this will surely encourage us in our future endeavor. I also want to extend thanks to Mr. Thadia Jude Halko, former student of first matriculation batch 1993 and now a deputy project director. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak at our event. Your insight and knowledge were invaluable and your presence was greatly appreciated. An event like this cannot be happen overnight. The wheel started rolling months ago. It requires planning and a bird's eye for detail. And we are fortunate enough for having a team of very proactive and dedicated staff. I would like to express sincere gratitude to my devoted colleagues for their tireless work. A special thanks to our esteemed uh, principal, vice principal and headmistress for inspiring us to work hard and serving as pillar of Okay. Gracious and heartfelt word of thanks. Your eloquence and sincere expression of gratitude have aid a wonderful touch to our Golden Jubilee celebration. Your dedication and efforts in ensuring the success of this event are truly commendable.